Lung disorders are a significant health concern, affecting many people's quality of life. These conditions range from common issues like asthma and bronchitis to more serious diseases like lung cancer and COPD. Understanding the symptoms and characteristics of these disorders is key for effective treatment and management. The image on this slide provides a visual contrast between healthy and diseased lungs to help illustrate the impact of these conditions. Discussing the wide variety of lung disorders and their effects on the body will set the stage for the rest of the presentation. The lungs are a vital part of the respiratory system, responsible for facilitating the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body. They are divided into two main sections, the trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles, which transport air, and the alveoli, where gas exchange occurs. Each lung is composed of several lobes, with the right lung having three lobes and the left lung having two. The alveoli, tiny air sacs within the lungs, are surrounded by a vast network of capillaries, enabling efficient transfer of gases between the air and the bloodstream. This slide provides a detailed overview of the anatomy and function of the lungs, with a labeled illustration to help the audience visualize the key structures and processes. The human lungs are essential organs that allow us to breathe and oxygenate our blood through efficient gas exchange. The alveoli in the lungs are the key structures responsible for this vital function, absorbing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. Maintaining healthy lung function is critical for our overall well-being and quality of life. Asthma is a chronic respiratory condition that causes recurrent episodes of wheezing, coughing, chest tightness, and shortness of breath. The main causes of asthma are a complex interaction between genetic and environmental factors. These factors lead to three key issues, triggers that worsen symptoms, inflammation that restricts breathing, and constriction of the airway muscles. Effective asthma management involves identifying and avoiding triggers, using medications to control inflammation and relax the airways, and having an action plan for managing exacerbations. Understanding these core elements of asthma, triggers, inflammation, and constriction is crucial for effectively managing this chronic condition. COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is a group of progressive lung diseases that make it increasingly difficult to breathe. The primary cause is long-term exposure to irritants like cigarette smoke that damage the lungs over time. Common symptoms include persistent cough, excessive mucus production, wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. These symptoms tend to worsen as the disease progresses and the lungs become more damaged. COPD is diagnosed through lung function tests like spirometry and a review of the patient's medical history and symptoms. Treatment typically involves a combination of medications, oxygen therapy, and lifestyle changes to manage symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. Lung cancer is a serious disease that affects the lungs, with two main types, non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, and small cell lung cancer, SCLC. NSCLC is the most common type, accounting for about 85% of cases, and includes subtypes like adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and large cell carcinoma. Smoking is the primary risk factor for lung cancer, responsible for up to 90% of cases. Other risk factors include exposure to secondhand smoke, radon, air pollution, asbestos, and certain genetic factors. Lung cancer is typically diagnosed through imaging tests like x-rays, CT scans, and PET scans, as well as biopsy procedures to obtain a tissue sample. Early detection is crucial for effective treatment and improved outcomes. Pneumonia is a serious lung infection that can be caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. Certain risk factors increase the likelihood of developing pneumonia, such as age, weakened immune system, and chronic diseases. Common symptoms include persistent cough, fever, and difficulty breathing. Prompt diagnosis and appropriate treatment are crucial for managing pneumonia and preventing complications. Preventive measures like vaccination, good hygiene, and avoiding respiratory irritants can help reduce the risk of contracting pneumonia. In severe or recurrent cases, additional tests and specialized therapies may be recommended to address the underlying causes. Pulmonary fibrosis is a progressive lung disease that leads to scarring and stiffening of the lung tissue. 
The exact cause is often unknown, but it can be triggered by autoimmune disorders, chemical exposure, radiation therapy, or genetic factors. Patients with pulmonary fibrosis typically experience shortness of breath, dry cough, fatigue, and decreased exercise tolerance. As the disease progresses, these symptoms tend to worsen, making daily activities increasingly difficult. While there is no cure, various treatments can help slow disease progression and manage symptoms, including medications, oxygen therapy, lung transplantation, and pulmonary rehabilitation programs. Lung transplantation is a treatment option for patients with end-stage lung diseases that have not responded to other treatments. Common conditions that may require a lung transplant include COPD, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, cystic fibrosis, and pulmonary arterial hypertension. Potential transplant candidates undergo a thorough evaluation to assess their suitability. This includes lung function tests, imaging, and an assessment of their overall health. Eligible patients are then added to the National Transplant Waiting List, and when a compatible donor lung becomes available, they are notified and undergo the complex transplant surgery. The transplant procedure involves removing the diseased lungs and replacing them with the healthy donor lungs, which requires a skilled surgical team. Healthy lungs are essential for efficient oxygen intake and carbon dioxide removal, providing the body with the necessary fuel to function at its best. Optimal lung function is crucial for both physical and cognitive performance. Maintaining good lung health can help prevent or manage various respiratory conditions like asthma, COPD, and lung cancer. Proactive measures like avoiding smoking and controlling air pollution exposure are important for safeguarding lung function. Respiratory health is closely linked to overall well-being. Impaired lung function can lead to fatigue, shortness of breath, and reduced quality of life. Prioritizing lung health supports cardiovascular, immune, and mental health, contributing to overall wellness. Smoking is a major contributor to many serious lung disorders like lung cancer, COPD, and pulmonary fibrosis. The chemicals in tobacco smoke directly damage and inflame the delicate tissues of the lungs, impairing their function. Smoking reduces the elasticity of the lungs over time, leading to a gradual decline in lung capacity and making it harder to breathe. This can severely limit a person's ability to exercise or perform physical activities. Nicotine in cigarettes is highly addictive, making it very challenging for smokers to quit. However, quitting smoking can significantly improve lung health and reduce the risk of developing these serious lung diseases. Air pollution, such as particulate matter, ozone, and heavy metals, can severely impact lung health, causing irritation, inflammation, and exacerbating conditions like asthma, COPD, and lung cancer. Certain groups, including the elderly, children, and those with pre-existing respiratory issues, are especially vulnerable to the detrimental effects of air pollution on the lungs. Long-term exposure can diminish lung function and increase the risk of respiratory infections. Air pollution is a major global health concern, responsible for millions of premature deaths annually. Reducing air pollution through stricter regulations, technological advancements, and individual lifestyle changes is crucial to mitigating the burden of lung disorders worldwide. Protective measures like wearing masks, improving indoor air quality, and limiting outdoor activities during high pollution periods can help minimize the impact of air pollution on lung health. Ongoing research is exploring innovative solutions to address this pressing environmental challenge. Occupational lung diseases are serious health issues caused by exposure to hazardous substances in the workplace. Asbestos exposure can lead to mesothelioma and asbestosis, serious and often fatal lung conditions. Certain chemicals, gases, and fumes can irritate and inflame the lungs, causing silicosis, metal fume fever, and other lung disorders. Inhaling organic or inorganic dusts, like those found in mining, agriculture, and construction, can result in pneumoconiosis and other lung diseases. It's critical that employers take steps to protect workers from these hazards and that employees use proper protective equipment. Early detection and treatment of occupational lung diseases is key to managing these conditions and preventing further health complications. 
Respiratory infections can be caused by a variety of pathogens, including viruses, bacteria, and fungi. These infections range from mild, self-limiting illnesses like the common cold to severe, life-threatening conditions like pneumonia and tuberculosis. Viral infections include the common cold, influenza, and COVID-19. Bacterial infections include pneumonia, bronchitis, and tuberculosis. Fungal infections include aspergillosis and pneumocystis pneumonial complications can include respiratory failure, sepsis, and long-term lung damage. Prompt diagnosis and appropriate treatment are crucial to managing respiratory infections. Tuberculosis is a highly contagious infectious disease caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria. It remains a global health concern, with an estimated 10 million new cases and 1.5 million deaths annually worldwide, primarily in developing countries. The primary symptoms include persistent cough, chest pain, fatigue, weight loss, fever, and night sweats. In some cases, the infection may remain latent, with no visible symptoms, but still pose a risk of reactivation. Tuberculosis is treated with a combination of antibiotics, typically taken for six to nine months. The standard treatment regimen involves isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol, which aim to eliminate the bacteria and prevent the development of drug-resistant strains. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder caused by mutations in the CFDR gene, which regulates salt and water movement in cells. The most common mutation, F508 del results in an abnormal CFTR protein that doesn't function properly. This leads to the production of thick, sticky mucus that clogs the airways and causes respiratory issues like chronic infections, persistent cough, and lung damage. Cystic fibrosis also affects the digestive system, with the thick mucus obstructing the pancreatic ducts and causing malnutrition and other GI problems. The disease can also impact fertility in both men and women, with blockages or absence of the vas deferens in men and thick cervical mucus in women, making conception difficult. Lung function tests are crucial for diagnosing and managing respiratory disorders. Spirometry is the gold standard, measuring air volume and flow to provide insights into lung capacity and airflow obstruction. Beyond spirometry, Advanced tests like diffusion capacity, lung volumes, and exercise testing offer a more comprehensive evaluation of respiratory health. Diffusion capacity evaluates the lung's ability to transfer gases, particularly oxygen, into the bloodstream. Lung volume tests determine the total amount of air the lungs can hold, including residual volume and total lung capacity. Exercise testing assesses how the respiratory system responds to physical exertion, helping identify exercise-induced limitations. These specialized tests provide a deeper understanding of lung mechanics, gas exchange, and the lung's response to stress, enabling more precise diagnosis and tailored treatment. Chest x-rays are the most basic and widely available imaging technique for evaluating lung health. They provide a general overview of the lungs, airways, and surrounding structures. Healthcare providers can use chest x-rays to identify abnormalities like lung masses, fluid buildup, or changes in lung texture. CT scans offer a more detailed and comprehensive view of the lungs compared to x-rays. CT scans generate cross-sectional images that allow for the identification of small lesions, structural changes, and the extent of lung disease with greater precision. MRI scans while less commonly used for lung imaging, can provide valuable information about the soft tissue structures and function of the lungs. MRI is particularly useful for evaluating lung perfusion, airflow, and the presence of certain lung disorders without using ionizing radiation. Interventional pulmonology is a rapidly evolving field that utilizes advanced techniques and technologies to diagnose and treat a wide range of lung disorders. These procedures, often performed endoscopically, allow pulmonologists to access the airways and lung tissue with greater precision, enabling more accurate diagnoses, targeted therapies, and improved patient outcomes. The presentation will cover four key interventional pulmonology procedures, bronchoscopy, endobronchial ultrasound, EBUS, airway stenting, and lung volume reduction. Bronchoscopy is a minimally invasive examination of the airways, while EBUS uses imaging guidance to perform biopsies of lung lesions. Airway stenting involves placing expandable tubes to open blocked airways and lung volume reduction techniques, 
both surgical and endoscopic, can improve lung function for patients with advanced lung diseases. Palliative care for advanced lung diseases focuses on managing distressing symptoms like breathlessness, cough, and pain. A multidisciplinary team works to optimize medications, provide oxygen therapy, and implement non-pharmacological interventions to improve quality of life. Palliative care also addresses the emotional and psychosocial needs of patients and families. Counseling, support groups, and spiritual care can help cope with the challenges of living with a terminal lung condition. Palliative care teams engage patients in discussions about their goals, values, and preferences for end-of-life care. This ensures treatment decisions align with the patient's wishes and priorities, promoting dignity and autonomy. Lung transplantation can be a life-changing procedure, but it comes with significant challenges and considerations. Graft survival rates are generally good in the first year at 80 to 90 percent, but drop to 50 to 60 percent at five years. Factors like donor matching, surgical technique, and post-transplant care greatly impact long-term outcomes. Rejection and complications are common, requiring close monitoring and immunosuppressive therapy. Issues like infection, bronchiolitis obliterans, and cardiac problems must be carefully managed. Successful transplantation can dramatically improve quality of life, allowing patients to resume normal activities. However, the lifelong management required can also be burdensome. Careful evaluation of transplant candidates is crucial, considering disease severity, comorbidities, and the patient's ability to adhere to the rigorous post-transplant regimen. Lung disorders have a strong genetic component, with specific gene mutations or inherited variations contributing to disease susceptibility and progression. Understanding the genetic basis is crucial for developing targeted therapies for these lung diseases. Environmental factors, such as air pollution and cigarette smoke, can lead to epigenetic changes that alter gene expression and contribute to lung disease development. Studying these epigenetic mechanisms provides important insights into the pathogenesis of lung diseases. Researchers are uncovering the complex molecular pathways and signaling cascades involved in various lung diseases, including inflammation, fibrosis, and cancer. Targeting these molecular pathways with novel therapeutics offers promising opportunities for better management of lung diseases. Advances in genomics and proteomics enable the development of personalized approaches to lung disease diagnosis, prognosis, and treatment. Tailoring interventions to an individual's genetic and molecular profile can improve patient outcomes. Lung disorders can be debilitating and life-threatening, but researchers are exploring novel therapies to address these conditions. Gene therapy aims to correct the underlying genetic defects that cause diseases like cystic fibrosis and pulmonary fibrosis. Stem cell transplants have the potential to regenerate damaged lung tissue and improve respiratory function in COPD and ARDS. Innovative biologic medications and targeted drugs can block specific pathways involved in the progression of lung diseases like asthma and lung cancer. Novel inhaled drug formulations and delivery devices can improve the targeted delivery of medications to the lungs, increasing their effectiveness and reducing side effects. Remote monitoring devices allow patients to track their vital signs and lung function from home. This data is securely transmitted to healthcare providers, enabling timely interventions and personalized care. Telemedicine platforms facilitate virtual consultations between patients and pulmonary specialists. This convenient approach helps manage chronic lung diseases, monitor treatment, and address concerns without in-person visits. Mobile apps enable patients to regularly log their lung symptoms, medication adherence, and other data. This information can be securely shared with the healthcare team for proactive management and timely treatment adjustments. Quitting smoking is the single most important step to improve lung health, as it reduces the damage caused by smoking. Regular exercise like brisk walking, swimming, or cycling can strengthen the respiratory muscles and improve lung capacity. A healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains provides the necessary nutrients to support lung health, and antioxidants may help protect the lungs. Limiting exposure to air pollutants, such as smoke, dust, and chemicals, by using air purifiers, wearing masks, and avoiding heavily polluted areas can minimize the impact on the lungs.
Pediatric lung disorders present unique challenges due to the dynamic nature of a child's respiratory system and its development over time. Lung function and anatomy can vary significantly based on a child's age, requiring specialized approaches to diagnosis and treatment. Managing these conditions involves close collaboration with a child's family to ensure the treatment plan is tailored to their individual needs. Caregivers play a crucial role in providing support at home and helping to manage the condition. Many pediatric lung disorders, like asthma and cystic fibrosis, have a strong link to allergic reactions. Identifying and managing environmental triggers is essential for effective symptom control in young patients. The respiratory system is deeply connected to our overall health and well-being. Maintaining optimal lung function is about more than just treating specific lung disorders. It's about adopting a holistic approach to wellness. Healthy lungs play a crucial role in supporting the cardiovascular system. Efficient oxygen exchange and proper blood oxygenation are essential for heart health and overall circulatory function. Respiratory disorders can have far-reaching metabolic consequences, affecting processes like energy production, nutrient absorption, and waste elimination. Addressing lung health is key to maintaining overall metabolic balance. The respiratory system is the gateway for many pathogens, and its health directly impacts the function of the immune system. Maintaining lung integrity helps strengthen the body's defense mechanisms against infections and diseases. The field of lung research has seen remarkable progress in recent years. Driven by advancements in medical technology, genetic research, and innovative clinical trials, researchers are leveraging cutting-edge imaging techniques, such as high-resolution CT scans and molecular imaging, to gain unprecedented insights into the structure and function of the lungs. Exploration of genetic and molecular mechanisms underlying lung diseases has opened new avenues for targeted therapies and personalized treatment approaches. Clinical trials play a crucial role in evaluating the safety and efficacy of novel therapies for lung disorders. Researchers are increasingly utilizing adaptive trial designs and incorporating patient-reported outcomes to better understand the impact of interventions on quality of life. These advancements have led to the development of groundbreaking treatments, from novel biologics for asthma to targeted therapies for lung cancer, transforming the management of respiratory conditions. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, often co-occurs with other serious health conditions like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and depression. Managing these comorbidities is crucial for COPD patients to maintain their overall health and quality of life. COPD patients need a comprehensive approach to address both the physical and mental aspects of their condition. Asthma has been linked to an increased risk of mental health disorders like anxiety and depression. Effective management of both the physical and emotional aspects of asthma is important for optimal patient outcomes. Lung cancer often coexists with other chronic conditions like COPD, heart disease, and diabetes. These comorbidities can complicate treatment and negatively impact prognosis. A coordinated, comprehensive approach to patient care is essential when dealing with lung cancer and its associated comorbidities. Lung diseases are a major global health challenge, accounting for over 4 million deaths each year worldwide. The economic burden of these respiratory conditions is immense, estimated at $380 billion annually across the globe. Lung disorders also contribute significantly to the global disability burden, responsible for over 10% of the total. These staggering statistics underscore the critical need to address the growing prevalence and impact of lung diseases as a public health priority worldwide. The scale of this problem, in terms of lives lost, economic costs, and disability, highlights the importance of developing effective prevention, treatment, and management strategies for these respiratory conditions globally. As we wrap up our discussion on lung disorders, it's clear that the future of respiratory care is filled with exciting possibilities. Ongoing research and advancements are paving the way for breakthroughs in early disease detection, personalized treatments, and more effective management of complex lung conditions. Collaborative efforts between clinicians, scientists, and patients will be crucial in driving this progress and improving outcomes for those affected by respiratory ailments. From emerging genetic therapies to innovative monitoring technologies, the landscape of lung health is rapidly evolving, and we can expect to see continued improvements in the years to come.
While there is still work to be done, I'm optimistic about the future direction of this field and the positive impact it will have on patient care.